it's Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I hope you had a wonderful holiday and um, you're ready to get back into things. I felt like I uh, don't, I didn't feel rested after being off for the holidays for some reason. I felt like I just kept going and going and going. I don't think I gave myself enough downtime, but you know how that goes. So today I am working on um, filling this journal here. Give you a little sneak peek of what I've been working on. So this is Sheila's Beautiful Velvet. And Sheila from Boho Daydream, she, she dyes these and she has so many beautiful colors to choose from and um, I went with this one because I was working with the Frank Garcia papers and I forget the name of it but I'll list it on the screen <laughs> so anyway um, I used her beautiful tie matching tie and I'm not gonna show you too much because then it'll kind of ruin but I'm still uh, filling this up and it's getting a little thick here. But I was so inspired by that package that I ended up making a digital to go with it. <laughs> uh, don't ask. <clears throat> but anyway, so I've been collaging and um, I was working with Shabby Dabby Duda when she was making her uh, pocket fillers and these are what I kind of have left. I tried to use a neutral base. So I think this one is from the French Curiosa papers. And then this one is from, it's like a neutral background. And that was from the Pink Pirouette Christmas. And this was French Curiosa. I think, ugh, I can't remember you guys. Um, I will leave the papers below for what I used. And I did some collaging, like like two different lace master boards because I wanted to um, have some different backgrounds. Let me show you some of those. So here are a few pieces I made from the collage master board here. And I used a lot of papers that were kind of just sitting around. And then most of them uh, extra pieces were from the new digital that's um, not in my shop yet, but will be soon. And I'm not sure if this will be, you know, the, if they're finalized quite finalized yet. You know how you have to figure that out. So anyway, I was able to make a bunch of different embellishments, pocket fillers, that kind of thing. And today, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, work on these. So when I went to Wisconsin, I had stopped by one of their local thrift shops um, up in uh, Christmas Mountain, Wisconsin Dells area. And this, I found a whole bunch of these in one packet for like, I don't know, $3. And I just brought a bunch with me. And I took some coffee and I just lightly coffee dyed these, very lightly. And I cut them in different shapes. So for this one, I just, I cut it off so that I could use these pockets here, right? And then I shaped it in that little shape. This one, I cut it off and then I angled it. And then this one, I wanted to make like a tag shape pocket. So you can do different shapes or whatever you want. Um, I didn't leave them long. Um, for this particular 
cream that I want to make, but uh, yeah, you can just go to town with whatever your mind brings to your imagination. So, I pulled out some panel roll paper. I have some very delicate book pages. some German book pages, and then these are some scraps left over from the new uh, paper. I mean, the new digital kit that I'll be listing in shop soon. Uh, these are the Scallet Tags in Pockets, Chevy, I'm not sure, but these are the neutral colored ones. I just had those, so right now we're at the beach and we're taking a few days. I have to work, unfortunately, but I've been trying to work really early so I can get my day done early. There's not a whole lot going on at work at the moment, so that's kind of nice, but because uh, the kids are like still out of school. So anyway, um, this was another thing I did. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a shiny, glittery type finish. And this was the Distress Texture Paste Sparkle. It is a translucent gloss paste with glitter flecks for creating dimensional effects. And I just used it with uh, this Stamperia stencil. And then I also used this rose stencil. I believe this is a Sam Cool, yeah, woven rose. So I just decided to play with that. And you can either add that to this or I may just add it in the journal, I'm not sure. But I wanted to play around with that and I thought, why not? Why not do that? So anyway, I had picked this up Black Friday when all of the Tim, Stru Tim Holtz stuff was 50% off. So I thought, why not try it out? All right, so I'm gonna start with this one, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and start collaging some of this stuff on here. Yeah, so anyway, add some of this. I think this was the piece left over from my uh, Harvest Blessings, but I just grabbed whatever neutral papers that I had printed out already before I left, so it may not uh, actually be part of this new one, so you can just mix it up. It doesn't have to be the exact, you know, line that you're using. As long as everything looks cohesive to me, I, I like to kind of go with a neutral base so that, ooh, um, you know, it can match any journal, really. So anyway, I hope you guys are trying to get back into the swing of things. It's really hard. Uh, yesterday, I went back to work and I was like, whoa. <laughs> It's really tough to get back into it after you've been gone for a little while. <laughs> I definitely was struggling, guys. So uh, Sheila included some of this pretty wallpaper, and I've been using it, like sprinkling it throughout the um, the journal. And uh, it's really cute with the um, the 
you know, mixing it around. I don't know. And then I kind of like toned down the white just by putting a little bit of ink on there. Not too much, but it, it kind of makes it more vintage. So I'm doing that. This is just lovely, isn't it? This glue stick is all mushy gushy. It's been pretty chilly actually here at the beach. It's not too far from our house, so it's pretty, pretty easy to get to so we didn't have to like pack like we're going to, you know on a long road trip Ooh, that road trip we made to wisconsin during thanksgiving that was tough it just gets it seems like it it gets harder harder and harder to road trip it these days Sounds of the ocean very soothing. Very quiet here. Uh oh. Not a lot of people this time of the year. Which is fine by me. It's just because, you know, it's not really conducive of going in the water. They had a. Um, there's a little pigeon right on the balcony. <laughs> it's a fat pigeon. That thing is... Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. I won't body shame you, little pigeon. But it looks like you're getting plenty of food. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and just like that, lift off. Scissors. Yeah. Go ahead and cut this off. So, I'm really trying to um, use my stash more this year, I think. I don't love to have resolutions per se. I do like to reflect on how I can improve myself. Um, so I did that and mostly like how I could be a better mom, you know, just an overall better parent, a better wife, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so if you guys reflected on your year, what did you Side on what you were going to improve on this year. I'm just going to put that there. Maybe, maybe not. Like that. I only like semi straight lines if I'm trying to get around this window. This window is like different than some of the other ones. It's almost like a um, glass scene. It has this, a clearness to it. It's not very opaque, but at the same time, it's like not clear. So. Yeah, 
anyway, I, I do like to have a word, not because I need to show, you know, to tell everybody, but just kind of for myself on what I feel like is kind of the, I don't know, how do I say, without uh, coming across strange, but like I feel like, um, you know, um, the Lord is trying to teach me something, which can be very difficult sometimes, and I found that out. This is probably one of the hardest years that I had to go through as far as um, at work. Not um, not that things personally weren't difficult to deal with. We had a lot of family member issues. You know, as parents age, um, things can get tough. So, and you realize, whoo, you better spend as much time as you can because you don't want to have any regrets. When I was going through that with my grandmother, boy, that was through the pandemic and I was so frustrated because I couldn't get to see her very often and they were really strict. You had to get tested before you could even visit. So I was like, oh my goodness, am I ever gonna see her, you know, type of thing. So it's like, you look at your parents and you're like, Oh, you know, we've got plenty of time, but really, nope, and I'm not taking it for granted, so anything can happen from one day to the next. just planning on putting this kind of flat down in the journal, not as a floating pocket. So I'm not really worrying about the back. Even though I did coffee diet at first, I was like, what am I going to do? But I think oh, that's what I'm going to do. This just, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, this is from, I think, my shabby scallop flowers. I could just, like, put something like there. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see as we go further along here. Oh, yeah, let me get some music paper. I'm just bring that with me. Just, no.
don't want to cut open the pocket. Yay! I didn't lose the words. That was what I was hoping. <laughs> it covers the pocket a little bit. That's okay. All right. <clears throat> We're almost there. of the new kit. So it was nice yesterday after work. I just, we had some lunch and then I was able to take a nap. I haven't had a nap in like so long. <laughs> that was really nice. I just need to cover this little piece up just a little bit. It's okay, I'm just gonna put it there. Because this is very relaxing. It doesn't have to be perfect, it can be Whatever you want it. So I felt like Shabby Debbie Duda's um, series she did was very timely because I needed to make um, stuff for the, this journal that I've been working on. And yeah, I mean, I was able to make quite a bit from But the difficult part was I only had the background pages created for this new digital. Um, I didn't have any of the uh, ephemera, so it was hard to, you know, make a collage without having like a focal point, but I could always add like some of this pretty lace just to kind of you know, maybe a little bit of this lace will be pretty somewhere on here you know just need a little pop of something and this was from that neutral pack that I got I was really excited to get this I think I am going to use my fabric scissors 
Let me think about this here. So back to like using stuff that I have, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy anything, but I think I'm gonna try to be a little bit more mindful instead of impulsive this year. So it's like you get this thing in your mind where like, oh my gosh, if I don't get it now, I'll never get it again. And just like, I, I can't. You know, retirement age is upon us and fixed incomes are upon us. <laughs> so that's the way it goes. Oh, you know how that goes. That transition is going to be tough, but it already is tough because, you know, my husband. He retired. I would love to be able to, but I am not quite there yet. All right, so I have this little tiny place up here that I could add something. And maybe it will be this. This is kind of a neutral page. goes with everything which is kind of like I try to add neutral pages if I can at least I am starting to do that now in my collections because when you're collaging <clears throat> in mass making which oh that's kind of like one of the things I really want to focus on this year because I just feel like that's going to help me get more journals done faster. If I have a lot of the, you know, inserts and pockets and stuff already done. So I get it, why people do it. And I was trying to figure out how I could do it just because I am not a big color person I like color and I like it to be sprinkled throughout, but I don't necessarily want it to be the prominent thing. So, yes, I am going to be experimenting with other colors though than just pink. I'm not sure if I like that there because it's just, it just doesn't go with anything. Ooh, so little cute little tags. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think this is a pocket. <laughs> An envelope pocket. And I'm not sure whether I wanted to put something in there. So this was the large shabby scalloped pockets and tags. Pockets and tags. And this was uh, one of the neutral tags. So you could easily put that in there. So now, because I was making this specifically for this journal, I put this blue wallpaper in it. But if I were making it as a mass make, just in general, I would, I would just leave this neutral because these collage pages can go with everything. All right, so that's that one. 
I hope you're crafting along with me. I, uh, I am trying to get stuff done. Now this would be so easy to put this here, wouldn't it? Hmm. Or I could do it on this side. This is definitely from the pink, I uh, know, the vintage pirouette Christmas. It had a um, pretty background paper that I made. This is from the new kit. I'm not sure if I want to just make a neutral one. I think what I'll do is I'll put this one down here. I was also debating should I do like a Christmas all year? I don't I don't know. I, I would love to, but at the same time, I don't know that I can. So, let me know, maybe I'll do a poll or something, what you think you want to see. I know you guys love embellishments, so I feel like the mass makes or whatever would be super fab. there. And then might as well use this up. That's going to make this super easy. But I think I'm going to do this and this first. Add some more of this. Yeah, I haven't, um, I didn't really want to show the journal yet because I, um, I need to do some sewing. And last year, um, my sewing machine fell off of the the roller cart that we were, you know, packing up. And this was, I think, last year, and um, when we went to uh, Myrtle Beach, and it it really got bent up. And quite frankly, I'm afraid my husband put it like unbent everything, but then it was like, mm, I don't know if that's going to work. So I'm kind of afraid to try it. This is one of my leftover bits of the lace coffee dyed paper. I think I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, so this is very soothing. Especially with that sound of the ocean and you can hear the birds. They're so cute. Okay, now I feel like 
did I put this? this guy on the jet ski yesterday and he was seriously going for hours and hours and all I could hear was this mm, mm, mm. and it was a stand-up jet ski so he's like doing the waves and I was like uh you can just stop anytime you want you know <laughs> after about I don't know many hours it was it felt like five hours but who knows I was ready for him to be done because <laughs> you know I had to close the windows and it's the perfect time of the year where you can leave the windows open so that was bothersome I mean, obviously he can do those things if he wants to but it was affecting my joy. <laughs> Let's just say that. And I'm like, dude, we gotta go home now, please. <laughs> We're gonna open the windows back up. Sometimes when you get older, you just like to enjoy the the sight, sights and sounds and and uh, yeah, those types of annoyances seem to get to you more. <laughs> I don't want to be like that because you know I bet that guy was having a lot of fun out there. We got two of these done. Super simple. This one can go literally in any journal because it's all neutrally. And let's do, we got, what did I do with the other one? Okay, we got this one and we got these two little pockets. It was so funny, I had asked for new slippers for Christmas and my husband got them and I pulled them out and I was like, oh, cool. You know, before I pulled them out, I was like, oh, cool. My new work shoes. And I pulled them out and my kids were like, what? And I was like, you know, because I work from home. I do have an office though. That way I can close the door, especially if I have meetings or whatever. And I don't, know, I don't think I would change it up. It would be really hard for me to change it up. 
I really enjoy that. Same thing here. I'm gonna put some of this book page here. Actually, I'll put it here. Kids were laughing at me as I pulled out those uh, slippers. <laughs> and then I get pulled out my pajamas um, that I got from my mom and the family, my mom and dad. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. I said, ah, oh, my new work clothes. It depends. If I have to be on the camera, obviously I can't wear pajamas. <laughs> Still wear my slippers though. from the pink pirouette Christmas as well. No, not pink. Vintage. Sorry. Let's do that. That there. Using these glue sticks, these are the Elmer Sticks to More Surfaces. And um, I think it's in my Amazon list, but I actually do think this one is very good. I have not had to, like you can sew it, but you don't have to. You know, I feel like with some of the other ones that I've been using, like the Uhu or Yuhu and the um, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was a Scott one. I bought it at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I needed like a glue stick because I had no glue sticks and I was out of town or something. And, uh, you know, it didn't work so well. Pretty. Do I want to? I think I'm gonna try it. Since it's just her feet, I'll use this one. Ooh, so delicate that paper. Wow.
kind of get in a groove and just have like a couple of different book pages, a couple of neutral background papers. Um, pieces of sheet music, that kind of thing. And then you have like all different things to collage with. If I had thought about it, I probably would have brought some pieces of ephemera to be able to put on there. into the abyss, you guys. And I am not getting down on this floor right now. <laughs> so you could um, use a darker one. bigger. I'm just going to do it anyway. It's neutral. goes with everything. There you go. Look at that. So we got this pocket now. We got this one. Now, I don't have my circle punch, but you can do that afterwards, right? So, put that on there. We are almost done, guys, and we've got five, we'll have five pockets. So, how awesome is that? Five envelope pockets.
almost done. <laughs> How easy was that? All right, I'm going to just take the bottom off of this a little. Ah. So delicate. that side is. We could use that for something. Oh, what am I want to cover the love up. Let's put that over here then. This glue stick is so mushy compared to the other ones that I usually use. But it's definitely working. Make sure it's not crooked. me feel very accomplished. do is I'll just save the part where you add the focal point once I come to use this. Then that's when you can add your color over the top, you know, that's going to go with whatever journal you're making. Oh, that's cute. 
you, baby you, baby you. I went with the love, it's okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to put this one down first. Melody of Love there on that one. So cute. Oh, that's right, I was gonna put a little piece of this book page here. something. All right, so we've got one, two. This isn't really a mass make, but it is a quick pocket make. Look at that. We got this one that has the angle. We got this one that has the round. And this one with the tag shape. Just put one of these shabby scallop pockets, no, tag them in there. We've got these two little pockets, which I'll be able to, once I get home, punch a little hole at the top. And then you can just put, you can either swing it out or you can put it on there and make a tuck. So you have a tuck behind there and then a pocket in here. And there we go. All right, guys, so thanks so much for stopping by. I really enjoy doing this and relaxing and chit-chatting with you to start off the new year. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon. The next video, hopefully, will be my journal. All right, guys, bye for now.